Hey guys, Mary J.M. So January 21st at 11 o'clock and I just got home but since I was already having makeup on and everything like that, it's like I might as well redo my intro. So I have been and I'm also going to redo the How I'm Born Different all rolled up into one. So then that way I don't have to edit it. <laughs> so hopefully this will make sense now more. So behind me are photos of my brother, if you guys could see. But basically, I'm a miracle surviving triplet. Oops. And this is a photo of my brother. So again, I was uh, a surprise to the doctors. They did not know I was going to be born. My mom was told she was going to have twins. And all of a sudden, I came along. <laughs> and so I wasn't fully developed. I was three months uh, premature and I lived in an incubator, which is this right here. So I lived in that for three months after I was born. I also shared my mom's stomach with two other boys. <laughs> so this is Joseph. And this is Joseph. That's me. That's how small I was. So again, I was 2.1 ounce. And I was a miracle surviving triplet, meaning they didn't know that I was going to be exist. So a miracle surviving means that I was the only one who survived out of the three of us. And triplet is three, one, out of three. So I'm the only one there. And this is why I have a lot of conditions and disabilities since the day I was born. <laughs> so again, it has nothing to do with my diet. Going vegan has actually changed my conditions for the better and made my life a lot better because I love to cook and so I cook vegan food a lot and that's pretty much one thing that I do all the time, which I love to do. I also have a lot of vegan friends who support me, so if I never went vegan, I would have never met them. So I am very thankful for that. Also. It's not due to COVID. I've never had COVID and I am vaccinated and proud to be vaccinated and I've never had COVID once. So I'm very thankful for that. There's a photo of me and my hero, Jeff Heslop, one of my heroes. <laughs> so yeah, I have to constantly repeat myself because people always say, oh, it's because what I eat or it's because of this and that. <laughs> So, yeah, no, it's because of the way that I was born. I mean, imagine sharing a room with your two other kids. So, <clears throat> this would be, like, the size that you're in. And then there's three of us fighting for to get nutrients, water, and all the other stuff that we need to survive. And then, like I said, my brother, Joseph, he only lived for three months without a heart. But... I still really miss him and that's why I do this YouTube channel and why I keep living is in memory of them. Uh, my other brother was stillborn. Now even though I don't have them in my life, I do have a younger brother and an older sister, but we're not that close, but I still see them quite a lot. Um, but yeah, I do miss my brothers every single day. And so I constantly, constantly have to say that and that's why I'm like, I gotta redo this intro because I've been getting so many comments that have been bothering me about, oh, it's because you're a vegan. You need some meat on your skin. <laughs> I'm like, no, I don't. It's because the way that I was born. The way that I was born. <laughs> so, for those that don't know what not fully developed means, it means because I was premature. Like I said, uh, I was in the incubator for three months. So my body didn't have enough oxygen and like I said, I was trying to fight to get the nutrients and the extra water and all that stuff that you need as a kid. So I'm not fully developed. So <laughs> I don't really know how else to explain it, but I'm not, if you put somebody that's normal and put me beside, I'm like not normal, but I look normal. So that's why I get dressed up like this a lot especially for my intros because people are like oh she's so hot and she's so pretty and and all this and that why does she have all these conditions that is why because looks can be deceiving 
uh, not everything is like a book. You, you can't judge a book by its cover. But I'm not saying anything bad about my life. Like I keep saying, as much as I hate having conditions, it has made me stronger. It's made me feel more better about myself. Because when I can do things, it's amazing. So even going out today, <laughs> I've been out all day, I'm still awake, and that right there is a big accomplishment when I could barely get out of bed this morning. I was like literally hugging <laughs> my stuffed animal this this whole morning. So yeah, it was really tough. So again, um, I have the conditions I have is called the unknown chicken condition, which I have a whole playlist from beginning to end. And then I also have chronic fatigue syndrome. And I also take a medication for my unknown shaking condition. Because if I didn't, I would not be able to do anything because I'd be shaking 24-7. <laughs> so, <laughs> that is very difficult. And um, so I'm going to start from the beginning. So, I never script this right. So, this, this is why I'm kind of like trying to explain it. So, that, because I want to be real. And because I, I am real. I mean, nothing's fake. Um, I keep saying I've never met a surviving triplet, but that doesn't mean that they don't exist. It's just that my condition, my, the way that I was born is different from the way that they were born. And everything that I have would be different from the way that they have. Because everybody is different. So that's the other thing too, people have to realize. So... Yeah, so basically, like I said, I was a miracle surviving triple. My first, my brother was stillborn. Unfortunately, I never got to see him, so I don't have photos. So I have photos of Joseph everywhere, up there and there, as many as I can. <laughs> and, um, yeah, so that's why I have all these issues. So again, I have an unknown shaking condition, a chronic fatigue syndrome, that I'll get to later. Um, at the beginning when I was first born, um, like I said, I didn't have enough oxygen. I was 2.1 ounce when I was born, so like the size of my dad's hand, which is way smaller than my, bigger than mine, but 2.1 ounce is not a lot. So, yeah, um, I was really small. So I had to live in the incubator to get extra oxygen and all that jazz. So that's also very difficult, if you can imagine, uh, living in a small little box as soon as you're first born, and that's why I go, as long as I'm not living in a hospital ever again, I'm happy, because <laughs> I don't want to go there again. Um, and I don't find that living around my conditions has defeated me. I feel like I have actually become stronger and I inspire people because I'm learning to live around my conditions rather than using all the time that I have to be a lab rat because I'm tired of being a lab rat. So when people are like, why don't you keep going to doctors? That's why I'm tired <laughs> of being poked at and all these tests and, oh, and it's the same thing over and over again. So nothing's going to get any better. I just have to learn how to live around it. Again, People have cancer, people have AIDS, people have all these other things, and there's nothing that they could do for it, so they just learn to live around their conditions, and that's exactly what I'm doing. So, that is why I want to redo this intro, so people know exactly what I've been through to a point. Um, this might be in two parts, because it might be a little long, so stay tuned, because I usually only film for 30 minutes. And then upload in three minutes. So, yeah. So now I'll tell you what I have since I was born. Uh, that's considered a disability. So at first I actually had to fight that I had a disability. Because again, I look normal. Because <laughs> I could walk. And I could do stuff. But I'm not normal at all. I have a thing called a learning disability. So what that means is... If you could tell by me talking, I don't remember what I just said five minutes ago. <laughs> if you tell me your name, I'll forget. Uh, I just forget a lot of stuff. And I constantly, like when I cook, I have to constantly watch 
the video over and over and over again, even when I'm cooking to actually get it right rather than reading, following a recipe. So, <laughs> um, for some people, people have to, uh, see, so, you know, even now I can't think properly. Um, some people have to either see it or be told being a short form, being a long form to get it. So that's why I do short videos and long videos because some people can't focus that long, the expansion, expansion stand, and then some people can't do it short. So I need long videos. I can't do short videos. I watch, but it drives me nuts. And I need somebody to show me so I watch videos over and over and over and over and over and over again to get it. And that's part of my learning disability. And then I keep telling people what I wanted to be as a kid was I wanted to be a corner or a forenit, forenits, <laughs> I can't pronounce it, uh, working with dead people <laughs> since I was a kid. So I wanted to do that, but I can't even name all your body parts. <laughs> <laughs> whatsoever. I even have to keep asking, what's this part? What's this part? What's this part called? Your knee. <laughs> I should know these things, but I don't. But I can remember things about the Phantom of the Opera. It's little things, but not the whole story. So as obsessed as I am over the Phantom of the Opera, um, I still can't remember everything. <laughs> Same with Freddy Cougar. So, again, because I was not fully developed, I feel really attached to Phantom. So that's why I call myself Phantom Stories. Because I am obsessed over the Phantom, and my life is a story, so Phantom Stories. But I am also obsessed over Freddy Cooter. <laughs> Which is why I got my socks on. And so those two things I love. But I don't love Freddy Cooter because of the horror. I love him because he's deformed. And I love Phantom of the Opera because he's deformed. Because <laughs> I always felt like I was deformed. But I know I'm not, but I'm just saying that's how I always felt uh, since I was born. Because I look normal, but I'm not normal. <laughs> so the first thing, like I said, I have a learning disability. Second thing, because I was not fully developed, all my teeth are messed up. So I have partial dentures up top, so I'll show that in a minute. But uh, because I was not fully developed, some of my teeth, the baby teeth, when it falls out, there'd be another tooth behind it. I mean, there wouldn't be a tooth behind it. And then when a big tooth fell out, there'd be no tooth behind it, if that makes sense. Now they found a tooth, so a tooth is like this, a box, but my tooth has a line in it, which dentists tell me that they've never seen before. They go, it's probably because my teeth are not fully developed. So I'm going to have to get that pulled out. <laughs> so that's what I mean by not being fully developed. My teeth didn't have that time and everything that I needed to be fully developed. Um, so that's the thing. So if you guys don't want to see my teeth, don't look. <laughs> But there's my partial dentures. And like I said, um, I've always had my teeth. It's just that at the beginning, there was maybe like six or seven up top. But I really didn't have that many teeth up top. And the, my bottom ones, they're still baby. <laughs> and I have these two and one here. So people don't realize that. And then people think, oh, because I'm not wearing my dentures all the time. I mean, because I have my dentures in all the time. People are like, oh, you're ashamed of it. I'm like, yes, I'm kind of ashamed, but not really. It's just that my dentist tells me I gotta wear them more. <laughs> so I'm wearing them more often, and that's another reason why I do YouTube, so I could, it forces me to wear it. Because in a way, I kind of am ashamed to be on camera without them. But it's just because I'm not quite used to it yet <laughs> but at the same time I know it's also part of me I mean I could, there's nothing I could do to change it just like my conditions I can't do anything I've gone to specialists about my teeth they couldn't do anything so they pulled out all my teeth and they gave me dentures 
and I actually passed out during when they pulled out the teeth that I had so I can never get tattoos or piercings or like that because I can't even sit through that so I don't, I don't have a good tolerance level so that's because I'm not fully developed and it just goes back in again uh, and again because of the wires they hurt a lot and it hurts to wear this all the time so I, sometimes in my videos I don't wear them and people are like what happened to your teeth so I have to constantly remind people I don't have all my teeth because that's the way that I was born <laughs> most of them were pulled out but like I said when I was born I only had like five or six teeth up top not lots it was all at the bottom and like I said, they're all baby, most of them are baby teeth. And when one tooth fell out, there was no big tooth behind it. And then there's behind baby tooth, there was another baby tooth. Behind <laughs> the big tooth, there was another big tooth. So it's all messed up. <laughs> so that's what my teeth are like. So like I keep saying with my conditions, just like my teeth, no matter what I do, there's nothing that doctors could do to fix it because it's just the way life is you that's how I was born I still got teeth I still got partial dentures <laughs> but that's the way that I was born so <clears throat> and then another thing is that um you guys some of you guys know some of you guys don't know I am partially deaf and I was actually in a hit and run and I was also very ended, so the two car accidents, <laughs> and I still survived. But um, they tried blaming the car accident on my hearing, but my mom knew that I was deaf since I was beginning little because they were teaching me how to do sign language because I couldn't talk and I couldn't hear anything. So they were trying to figure something out. <laughs> so that's what they did for that. So I am partially deaf. Uh, what else was there? I can't even remember all everything that I have. There's one of my there's my only cat left. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I have a lot of issues, <laughs> and like I said, there's a lot that you can't see, and there's a lot that you can see. Like my being partially deaf, people don't know. I have really bad eyesight. People don't know. I need to get glasses, but I can't afford them, so I haven't bought them yet. But I could still see, and I could still hear, but just barely. <laughs> that's why people are like, how can you not wear your glasses and your hearing aids? I'm like, I gotta remember my teeth, I gotta remember my glasses, I gotta remember my hearing aids, uh, no. And then having all that stuff on your face, it, it takes a toll on me. <laughs> it feels weird just being on my face. And that's why I feel deformed, because I don't feel like... Um, like I'm a whole person kind of thing. So that's why I love Phantom of the Opera and Freddy Krueger. So that's how my obsession began with that. So, what else? Uh, oh yeah, and my swollen feet. So again, I have, uh, a lot of people call it anemo, whatever it's called. And people keep telling me, go, go for massages go to uh, doctors, go do this, go do that. Nothing helps. Massages make it worse. Uh, the only thing that helps is when it's cold out, which right now it's been snowing. So I've been able to go out a lot and I'm not in any pain whatsoever, but my feet are still swollen. And they, they're trying to say it's the way that I was born. So I guess it kind of makes sense that they can't figure it out. So they just say that, but Again, I don't really know. I'm not, like, 100% sure if that's the way that I was born. Because when I first had it, it only happened in the summertime. And now, it's only in the wintertime. It's fine. I'm finally not in any pain. And that's one reason why I smoke a lot. Before anybody says anything. So, again, I don't drink. I don't do pot. I don't do drugs anymore. I just smoke a lot. Because pain that I'm in all the time with my feet and my conditions <laughs> so if you guys don't want to see don't look but this is why I'm wearing my socks so you could actually see from up here so <laughs> my swollen feet 
nice well my feet, which is another reason why I feel like Freddy Giger. Because <laughs> he's just as messed up. I don't know if you guys could see it, but I'll also go on here. So there you go. So it's always like that, no matter what I do, if I put it in water, if I put it in, if I go for massage, it makes it worse. Water pills do not help, but it's like this 24 seven. And truth be told, I do feel really gross <laughs> showing it, but it's a part of me. I'll never go away. It's just something that I gotta deal with. Just like everything else. <laughs> so when people are like, oh, they have chronic fatigue syndrome. I'm like, but that's all that you have. <laughs> so be thankful you only have one condition. Because I got a shitload of problems. <laughs> that's why, too, when people are like, oh, you should go to the doctors. And keep going to the doctors. And go to another country to go see another doctor. I'm like, um... There's, they're not going to fix everything. They're not going to be able to fix everything. There's a lot of stuff. <laughs> like, even with hearing, no matter what, you can't do anything to forget hearing aids. And like I said, I don't wear my hearing aids because I can't hear a crap with them. I hear everything else around me other than what's in front of me. So I don't wear them. But I'm not partially, I'm not fully deaf yet, so... It's not that bad. So, that's my disabilities. And, yeah, I've, I don't know if there's a difference between disability and condition. But my doctors call certain things conditions and, my, and disabilities other things. But all this stuff that I've just shown you, I've had since I was born. My teeth, being deaf, the learning disability. It's like, oh. It's a lot. <laughs> and I am on disability, but it took me a long time to get on disability. I had to fight to get on disability. And I still have to fight to stay on it. Because they're like, oh, you could still walk. You could still do stuff. Actually, I <laughs> really can't. When I'm walking, I'm in a lot of pain. Uh, you just don't see it. So, like today... Since I went out a lot, tomorrow I'm not going to be able to do anything, so I'm just going to stay home. And I make sure that every other day I'm out, and every other day I stay home. But again, none of this is caused by my, by my diet. I'm actually waiting for somebody to, <laughs> to make a video saying, This person has all these issues because of their diet. <laughs> but it's not. It literally, literally isn't because of that um or people another thing people say is the trauma that i was in i'm like uh my swollen feet was long before my ex <laughs> um i've had trauma ever since i was a kid I, I was bullied a lot and from elementary school to high school i even had a knife stuck to my throat in cooking class and that kind of scarred me. <laughs> I used to be stuck in lockers, I stored things, everything you could think of happened to me. I had my head dunked in the toilet a couple times. <laughs> it was uh, pretty bad and it's because I was so small. People just picked on me all the time. And I think that's one reason why I don't really like being around people. Like, I do have my small social group of friends, which you guys will see if you guys watch my YouTube channel. Um, but I don't see them that often, and I don't go out that often. And I, and one of the reasons is because of the way that I used to get attacked by people, uh, physically and mentally, and uh, yeah, it was just bad. And, um, like I said, I used to do drugs, but I quit that. Chasing the dragon. If you guys don't know what it is, Google it. <laughs> but I was on that for like a year. I had a crappy life from it, but um, it's because part of me was suicidal. Um, I don't know if I could say that on YouTube, but I do have a video about that. 
because I always thought I was supposed to be with my brothers. So I don't want to be here. But now that I'm older, I know I'm here for them. So that's why I keep going. And why I'm not going to give up. So this is part one <laughs> of who I am. Uh, once again, this is the stuff that you that I've had since I was born. And I hope you guys uh, enjoy hearing my life story. Hopefully then that way something comes out of it. And thank you guys for all your support. But I usually do daily, do daily vlogging. It's just that right now I've just been wanting to redo my intro. Because people keep saying, oh it's because of your diet. It's because of the trauma. It's because everybody has their opinion. But it's not. It's because of the way that I was born. I was a miracle surviving triplet and thankfully I'm still here and I'm never going to give up because of my brothers and I'm going to continue this in a bit here on Phantom Stories. Welcome to my haunted world XOXO OG Uppercross.